So, interesting little update. This is my Grant Searle. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, ANSI Terminal Emulator. Um, it's got a PS2 interface and NTSC. Um, NTSC inter interface and uh, uses a little shift register and two at mega uh, three two eight uh, microcontrollers although you can use a three two eight for the video um, and you can use a an 88 series for the uh, IO if you if you wish but I believe uh, I'd have to look at the data sheets but I, I believe that the 88 series uses more power so the pair of 328s is probably the way to go um, so basically uh, has a parallel interface that runs between the two um, you can actually wire this up using just the two lines between the chips, but the interface is slower. Um, so, worked on this quite a bit today. Finally got the RX and TX lines sorted. I initially had thought I had them backwards. Um, I may still have an issue with that, uh, with the silk screen on the, on the, the motherboard, but um, it's working. Uh, what isn't working is my cheap little e-machines uh, PS2 keyboard I bought at Goodwill that has a whole bunch of extra buttons on it, so I'm thinking it's probably non-standard in there, or at least non-standard enough that the, the interface doesn't work with it. Um, I've got managed to get this to work with uh, just a simple terminal program on the laptop um, so I can send uh, send commands to the screen if I want um, doesn't always like to behave under this terminal program when you hit the backspace key depending upon how you set it up um, but what we can do is send text files I'm just gonna reset this So, I can pick a text file from here. And send it over the open link. <laughs> Helps if you hit the connect button. <laughs> it's supposed to be Snoopy. We'll do it again. But those of you who watched BBS's remember <laughs> little antsy arts. <laughs> Curse you, Red Baron, and then oh look at that. Brought to you by the world famous ten meg pipeline BBS. Don't call that number. I should probably block that out. Let me try that again. We'll just disconnect. All right, and connect. Send file. There we go. So it's a pretty neat little design. Um, talking to someone on uh, Facebook forums uh, 
the filter capacitors in the original design are 22 picofarad. Um, and that might actually be slightly too low. Um, the trouble is I don't have data sheets for my crystals. So I don't know. I uh, can't do the math. So probably going to get an actual uh, data sheet for these guys. Um, or crystals that have an actual data sheet. I got these off of uh, Jamco and uh, they just they don't have data sheets for them. Um, but they are actually working with the 22 picofarad capacitors. Um, my concern is what the frequency these things are outputting is. Um, and I don't have an oscilloscope. I don't have a multimeter that does frequency. Um, so I don't really have any way of measuring it. Uh, I was going to see if I could borrow one from somebody. Um, but it's a neat little thing. Um, pretty close to getting ready to releasing these Gerber files. Um, and then when I do, I'll put them up, uh, put a link up on the forum um, to let everybody know that they can go get them. I mean, this isn't anything spectacular, but it does support graphics. It does support, um, it's supposed to support ANSI, the full ANSI character sets, and it's supposed to run most of the major CPM uh, business applications flawlessly. So, kind of a fun little project. Hope you guys liked it.